Today, we are discussing my top ICOs for January. I believe these will be huge and we could see some exciting multipliers if these are able to succeed and we stay in this bear market that we are currently in. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Crypto Picks. First, let me thank all my new subscribers. It's awesome just to see the community growing. If you haven't jumped into my Discord, the link is in the description below. Come and join us. Everyone, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button. Let's get started. The way this is going to work, we're going to talk about the project idea, the partners that these companies have, their market cap for the ICO, and then the reasons why I like each ICO. Our first ICO is Apex. So Apex is a decentralized data management platform. Their vision is to build an ecosystem that will decentralize the way B2C interactions take place across the entire consumer lifecycle. So with Apex, users can control which kind of data companies get access to and which companies can actually collect their data. So basically Apex passes value and data ownership back to the consumers, increasing market effectiveness, data quality, and consumer loyalty. Also, it's powered by Neo. So what about their partners? It looks as if they're partnered with Microsoft, Amazon, Alibaba, Oracle, and much more. To be honest, I was a bit confused by if this means they're actually using those products or they're actually partnered with them. By the wording, it sounds like they're actually partnered with them. And if so, that is huge. They also already have over 250 customers with over 32% of those agreeing to sign up and trial run Apex at launch. And we're looking at 400 million circulating supply, which are the tokens sold at ICO, 800 million total supply. Hard cap is only 25 million, which is pretty close to around a $20 million sweet spot in my opinion. Token price is only eight cents. Private pre-sale, they sold $10 million, which they got a 50% bonus, but it is locked up for four months. The public pre-sale, they sold $4 million and they got a 20% bonus. And then the crowd sale for you and I, we have $11 million being sold. Their whitelist begins January 15th. That's signing up 5 p.m. Beijing time, which is 4 a.m. Eastern time. So be ready to stay up late on the 15th because you want to sign up for this ICO. Whether you're whitelisted and you decide to invest or not is up to you. At least get on the whitelist. So why do I like Apex? They have a fairly low market cap of 25 million. With 20 million being my sweet spot, it's super close to that. The market is already booming, so 100 million or even 300 million market cap doesn't seem that far-fetched. And they possibly have some big partners. As I mentioned above, possibly Amazon, Alibaba, Oracle. I mean, as long as we read that right. And they already have hundreds of customers working with Apex with 32% of those ready to trial run Apex at launch. That is huge. We don't see many ICOs already having customers ready to use their product. Now my next one, Nucleus Vision. And this one is probably the one I'm most excited about for January. So Nucleus Vision is an end-to-end -end technology solution that captures and provides previously inaccessible data to retailers and other brick and mortar businesses through its proprietary blockchain and real-time sensor technology. Their sensor technology can uniquely identify users and detect temperatures, pressure, motion, acceleration, and sound within its vicinity. This sensor can identify any customer in a physical store without Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or GPS protocols and is completely seamless and frictionless. Their Internet of Things sensor can detect mobile phones as they pass through storefronts or any location where the sensor is set up, enabling their users to detect visitors' phones and mobile ID data privately over the blockchain. So businesses would use this to provide useful and relevant product recommendations at brick-and-mortar retail locations. So just off the description, it seems extremely useful and interesting, especially for huge stores such as Walmart, Target, Best Buy, and actually even mom and pop stores. So now what about their partners? Nucleus Vision actually has some big partners with Vodafone, which is a British multinational telecoms company with revenue of over $47 billion in 2017. Then Reliance Communications, which is the sixth largest internet provider in India with a revenue of $3.4 billion in 2017. And then the biggest one, in my opinion, Intel. Seeing that they have a partnership with Intel alone got me interested and excited in this project. 
So now for their market cap, we're looking at 5 billion circulating supply, which will be sold to ICO, 10 billion total supply, hard cap of 40 million, which is a little higher than we usually like. But for such an ambitious project, I think 40 million is still okay. And I'm not going to pass that up. Their token price is less than one penny, which is actually a super exciting number because new users or new people investing in cryptocurrency love that sub penny prices. Their pre sale they got 25% bonus and they sold $30 million worth, which means they only have $10 million left for us. The whitelist is already closed and the tokens will be issued two weeks after the main sale. So if you don't get on the whitelist, you can still jump into the exchange. And as you can see, the main sale is only selling 10 million and they have over 34,000 people in their telegram. So I'm assuming they're gonna have a pretty small cap. So there might actually be a good chance for you to buy this in ex the exchange. We'll see and we'll see which one it jumps on first. So why do I like Nucleus Vision? They're already live with centers in 10 retail establishments in India. They have over 34,000 Telegram members already, so the hype is definitely there. They have a 40-man team. And then the idea has some huge potentials. If companies such as Walmart, Target, and Best Buy, like I mentioned earlier, were to jump in, this one could just, just rock it. I mean, there's obviously a big need for it in those companies. We'll see what they decide to do and who decides to pick up on this. So yeah, that's my top ICOs for January. With the recent ICOs coming to the market and then just rocketing completely off the, like right off the bat, the multiplier is crazy and it's exciting. I expect these to fill up extremely fast, so make sure you get on the whitelist if you can. If you haven't, watch the exchanges and pay attention for when it comes out. Don't forget though, an ICO is extremely risky, so be smart and do your own research. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.